Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome to my channel. Awesome to be back on another video guys on map creation and map making and modding and all that kind of stuff. So if this is your first time on my channel, a warm welcome. Please remember to like and subscribe. We really appreciate that and it helps the channel grow. So yeah, it's awesome man. <laughs> Great, do it just now. Don't forget, just do it now while we're talking about it. While the subject is hot, you know, like I always say. Um, Heat the iron when it's hot is an old expression, you know. Anyway, guys, um, today we're going to have a quick, um, like an introduction or a, a brief look at full planes or full types, rather is the right word for it. Full type is used with a full plane. In other words, uh, what it is and what it, how it works and how to add full types to your map um, in any scenario. Now, first of all, you want to have a look at your map directory. Um, I'm going to just open one of my maps, um, the one I'm currently working on, on the um, the FS19 to FS22 map conversion, this Ravenport map, we're busy working on that. So I'm going to show you um, where the full planes are, or, or full types are, and how to change them, and how to edit, and how to add. So in your maps directory, first of all, you find your map XML. Normally that will be located close to your map I3D, so open that up. And then in there, normally right at the bottom is where these kind of things subside. In this case, it's not really right at the bottom. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Full types and um, fruit types and spray types. That's your three types um, and tree types. I think these are three types as well now. Um, good. So you can immediately see that the full types for this map is all default. If yours is also like this, it means it's using by default the game. If nothing is set up here, it or automatically defaults to the in-game full types uh, uh, and spray types and fruit types. Now, if yours is there, great, then you can al also see where it is located because you need the maps uh, underscore full types dot XML. So we're going to take that uh, and um, just bring it over. I'm just thinking now if, if it's a good idea. Yeah, I can do that. Let's do that. Farming Simulator 22. Open a new window. Uh, data maps. And then in here we will have it. Full types. There it is. So copy that file. Right, so what you want to do is uh, drop it into your map directory. Um, preferably under the same type of thing. Maps. Um, and obviously have it in here. Under your map directory. So that will be a Ravenport maps. Um, map if r yeah i'm supposed it, it'd be all right to put it in here have it all all together here with your i3d map full types what i normally what i normally do um in my maps is i create a folder called xmls and i drop all the xmls in there relevant to the to the map so maybe let's do the same in this one just as a matter of uh, uniformity or what you want to call it and then just move that one in there so now there you go and now if you open this up everything in here will be set to default in other words that this is your basic loadout for any map um, for the standard stuff and right on top you you'll first find um, find your um, converters and this will convert your um, your your grass window to dry grass and that kind of stuff so we're not going to bother with that because we we're interested in the full types which is here now you have to think now what type of full type do you want to add to the map um it this first section is obviously all this will be all your fruits so if it's a fruit you will look at the fruit that is closest to the one that you want to add um because all, all these values matter you know like for instance barley it's a fine little seed type of fruit different uh, um, than canola which is much more tinier and different than beans which is bigger you know so think of the type of fruit and select something that is similar to that and then duplicate one of these lines and add it as a second and change the names on it that type of thing and we'll get to the rest of it just now then obviously if if the full type that you have is something like stone or rock or ground or stuff like that there is one at the bottom somewhere i think it's called um, I can't remember now what it's called this road salt uh, snow methane air dev diesel uh, 
These, these are a lot. So just search for one that is fairly similar. This is the production stuff, um, similar to that, and then duplicate that. So let us have a look at that first one of wheat, for instance. How it? How are you going to do that? Um, you, you're going to take this whole full type, not that one, this one here, because that is your section for the full type. So right. So you'll select that. Go Control C, and then once you've copied it. Just go there at the bottom of that, create a few mu more new lines, and then press the home button, go control V, and I didn't copy it. Why didn't it copy? Let me just try again, control C, let's do it a few times, because sometimes my keyboard is crazy. Control V, there you go. All right, so now you've duplicated that. Now you'll change this to whatever you, you are calling your, your full type, and then call it um, um, what shall we add I don't know what to add guys whatever you want to add um, and then obviously full type width um, is the title of it so you're going to change this title to because that's the name of it the name is important because that's part of the the workings right so the so you'll just overwrite the name with your your name there and there uh, uh, width as well put your own name in there the rest you can leave. Um, yeah, you can you can change a bit of the, the the characteristics of it, the price per liter, and the factors. This is the twelve months. How how much of the value, uh, you know, that type of thing. Uh, you can add add and play around with that a bit. Um, see see what you can get to, get to and how how it changes your economy because that's the economy section. Then the next thing you're gonna need is obviously a <coughs> a a HUD for it. Now a HUD is a small little picture that appears in the menu. When you open the menu, it shows that little wheat sign or the icon on the menu. That's your HUD. So you will obviously need a little picture of your um, of your full type. And this picture type you can obviously grab out of uh, its dollar data. This uh, its dollar data dollar, which means it's an encrypted. Uh, um, file you cannot access that so you're going to have to create your own HUD file which um, I can maybe point you in a little bit of a direction um, take any of the FF, FS19 maps for instance let me just see if I have something here um, still under FS19 mods my games farming simulator 19 have I got any mods in here oh there's hogs back yes uh, if you go take any FS19 maps um, normally you will find under most of them there will be a HUD where you can where, where you can get icons and then you can use these DDS files because they are normal small little icons and they are 256 by 256 um, is the is the size and I think they are normally DXT1 format if we can verify that quickly I can close that where is that little HUD now and drop it on here so we can just uh, see what it says uh, it's dxt5 is the is the format and it's mid maps and 256 by 256 is a little picture of your hud so and then you create a folder in your um in your map called um fruits or um whatever you want to call it uh, full types or what and add a hud folder and put your hud in there because you you might need to add more fruits in the future you know that type of thing Great, and then the next thing you want to have um, is copy the palette line. You can just leave. Don't worry about that. Textures, the textures. Now this tree, the 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 texture is actually the full plane texture. So uh, my best bet will be to create your own one, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll show you now how to do that or how to get to that, or um, go into this full planes and find a. a picture with the closest full plane that looks like yours you know if you go into that for instance um, into your game folder data and then it's full planes uh, where is it where is it full planes and then you can have a look here which which of these look the closest to yours because you need three of them it's a diffuse a normal and a specular um, there's always those three files or most of the time for the full planes 
there's always a three files. Now, what the full plane is, is if you look at your trailer, for instance, it's the easiest way to explain. Your trailer, if you fill it with wheat, the wheat that you see lying in a trailer is actually a film or a layer of a picture. Now, that is this three pictures that's combined together to, to give you a 3D simulation of what it would look like. You know, it's a sort of a, it's a 2D picture, but it, gives you a 3d um sort of a look 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 like that you know and then the distances you also will need distance a diffuse for distance and that you can also find in the same place there it is the distance diffuses you can choose any of these um that that will look s similar to to what you would have in mind you know so just pick one of these copy it or you can route it uh, to the same name just in your xml here take it to that png there I wonder why mine's not displaying for some reason medium my icons is not showing no, what they look like here we go yeah it's strange <laughs> anyway for some reason these distances doesn't look like look nice but um okay and then the next thing to do guys now you've now you've uh, um you've added your just a full type but you now need to specify where this full type will be used in the game so for that normally at the right at the end or close to the bottom you will find the categories for where, where, where they will be used so here it is the categories now if it's a if it's a um a thing that's in generally going to be used on on a lot of machines um you can you can find and look at for instance where you will use it like for instance on a on a fork you'll have those things in a slurry tank in a train wagon or in a silage trailer on an auger wagon so remember the name that you typed on on top for the full type you have to add that name in here in in capital letters and always add it to bulk because bulk is all the stuff that's available so add yours to bulk first and then in the type of um equipment that it's going to be used you add it there as well and then sounds obviously that you can leave by default doesn't matter um, if there is some some type of uh, um, sound that you want to use you can you can you can look at this um, sound full yes yeah, grape full olive full grass full manure full and you can add your your full type there as well if you if there is a sound that you wanted to make for some reason you know <laughs> like for instance on a on a grapeful you'll have the the water splashing or, or the grapes splashing the same with the olives or whatever you know so there you go guys and then what you do remember to to uh, modify your xml um, take these things out um, all you do is remove those little thingamabobs like that at the beginning at the end and that will make your full types become active that you've just added Good. Now, just to get to back back to that, um, the the three, uh, um, what do you call those little thingamabobs? The the three um, the three textures or whatever you call it. It's the the diffuse, the normal, and the specular. I'm going to point you to a video that will show you how to um, how to actually do that. Um, and I'm going to put this video in the description. So you take a normal texture or a photo or whatever. And this video will explain in detail how to um, convert that into the three. Well, it actually shows you five different layers that you can make, but three of those is what you need. And that will help you to make your own little um, um, diffuse normal and a specular file for, for that type of full type that you want. And then all is well. Once you've got that loaded, it should all work fine. And hopefully you have a new full type in your... In your um, map great guys i hope it's been insightful and i really hope that it helped a bit for the guys that are interested in adding a full type um yeah that it might might do the trick i really hope so great man guys thank you so so much for watching a big thank you to my supporters as always you are you guys are awesome and remember to like and subscribe guys and uh, i'll catch you on the next one take care